we have some reaction coming in from Savarkar's kin. In fact, Ranjit Savarkar says, baseless claims made by Karnataka Minister Dinesh Kundurao. Ranjit Savarkar saying, urge to look after cows. Savarkar was urged to look after cows. In fact, the Karnataka minister said Savarkar's non-vegetarian, he ate beef and this is a Savarkar's family. Ranjit Savarkar now saying that Savarkar was urged to look after cows. This is absolutely false. Baseless claim made by Dinesh Gundarao. This is a response coming in from Savarkar's family members. I don't think that Congress has संकुचित विचारधारा रखनी चाहिए कि ये बात सावर करने के लिए तो इसका विरोध करना चाहिए सावर कर जी जो बात अच्छी करते हैं उसका सम्मान कांग्रेस जन भी करना चाहिए मुझे लगता है कि कांग्रेस के नेता शीर्ष नेता जो करते हैं वही नीचे वाले करते हैं इंदिरा गांधी सावर कर जी के बारे में अच्छा बोलती थी आज की जो नेता है वो गलत बोलते हैं इसलिए नीचे के लोगों पे जबरदस्ती की जाती है कि आप भी सावरकर को गाली गलौज करें तो मुझे लगता है सुशील कुमार जी यही कहते हैं कि एक वैचारिक स्वतंत्र कांग्रेस में होना चाहिए so, Karnataka Minister Dinesh Gundarao had stirred controversy with his remarks on Savarkar, igniting a political debate now, describing Savarkar as traditional yet modern, claiming that Savarkar, a Brahmin, ate beef, didn't oppose to cow slaughter. Ranjit Savarkar, grandson of Savarkar, has slammed the Karnataka Minister for making baseless claims. He says he's going to file a case in response to the remarks further accusing the Congress leadership of consistently speaking against Savarkar's legacy. BJP has rallied against the Karnataka minister, accusing the Congress of repeatedly insulting Savarkar. They've attacked the Congress party for being anti-Hindu, with one remark claiming Congress worships Tipu Sultan. BJP has termed Dinesh Gundarao's statement on Savarkar as an insult, calling it a matter of national shame. Yesterday you made a statement on Bir Savarkar that he was a meat eater and he consumed beef. Now this has not gone well with the BJP has criticized you, sir. How do you see this? No, I am not making any comment. I only is making a discussion on how to counter the, uh, the fundamentalism and it is a debate on uh, Godze's uh, assassination of Gandhi. So I was just making a, I was not attacking anybody. I was just saying how, we, how do we counter fundamentally because Savarkar was a fundamentalist view. Savarkar's view is that we should have a Hindu Rashtra for only for Hindus. Every else, everybody else should be under the uh, under the Hindu community. So I was I was I was saying that Savarkar was an atheist. Savarkar didn't believe in God. Savarkar was a person who ate non-veg. He believed in. He is a very modernist person. He had modern views, modern thinking, scientific. He was believe, he believed in science also. So he was not even for the cow slaughter ban. He was not for that. So he had many of his views, but his view was fundamentalist. So how do we counter this fundamentalist through Gandhi was? See, Gandhi was a Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi was a religious person. Savarkar was a, he didn't believe in God. Gandhi was a vegetarian. Savarkar was a non-vegetarian. Gandhi was a he was a very uh, you can't you can't say Gandhi was a very scientific person. He had his own beliefs. The many criticisms are there about uh, about Gandhi ji's uh, uh, beliefs. So many practices. Uh, which people criticize, but that was his, he, he lived. But one great thing about Gandhiji was he was democratic. He wanted to take everybody, he wanted to discuss. Whereas Savarkar, though he was an atheist, though he had all, he was a modernist, but he was a fundamentalist. These people who are not aware of the 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 people who are not बहुत अच्छे तरीके से रखे हैं उन्होंने ये कहा है कि किसान के जन्म से लेकर मरने तक गाय ये उसको मदद करती है इसलिए हम लोगों ने गाय को एक ईश्वर का दर्जा दिया है मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि इस प्रकार से सावरकर जी के ऊपर गलत बयानी करना ये राहुल गांधी ने जो शुरू किया है उसी को आगे ले जाने का प्रयास देखिए भारत का अपमान करना कांग्रेस का एजेंडा नंबर वन है दूसरा भारतीय स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों का उनको अपमानित दिन प्रतिदिन करना ये कांग्रेस का एजेंडा नंबर दो है और इसमें कांग्रेस कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ रही राहुल गांधी जी से लेकर गुंडा राव तक और गुंडू राव वाले पे भी अगर मैं इतना कहूं अगर वो वीर सावरकर के जीवन से थोड़ी सी भी सीख ले तो उनका जीवन सफल हो सकता है लेकिन ये कांग्रेसियों ने सेवा 
भाव नहीं है सत्ता का सुख भोगने का काम किया है और सबसे बड़ा मेवा किसी ने खाया तो कांग्रेसियों ने खाया है प्राण स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों ने दिए पंडित नेहरू से लेकर राहुल गांधी तक सत्ता का सुख भोगते रहे कांग्रेसियों ने किया है कांग्रेस पार्टी होल सेल डिसाइडेड फ्रॉम डेली टू कर्नाटका देर थ्रेटनिंग हिंदू थ्रेटनिंग हिंदू हिंदू गॉड्स नाउ दे आर थ्रेटनिंग फ्रीडम फाइटर सावरकर इज अ फ्रीडम फाइटर सो इन फ्यूचर ऑल्सो सेम थिंग हैपन इन कर्नाटका ऑल्सो दे विल टीच यू लेसन एवरी हिंदू विल टीच द लेसन Let me cut across to Mustafa Sheikh joining us live for more on that from Mumbai. Mustafa, Karnataka Minister Dinesh Gundrao claiming that Savarkar was a beef eater. He never uh, opposed to meat slaughter or, or cow slaughter. Uh, has really irked Savarkar's family. You've spoken to his grandson. Give us a little more a sense from what the family had to say, and has this had any impact among the people of Maharashtra? Well, surely Dinesh Gundo's arouse statement is going to cause dearly uh, for the Mahavika Thakadi in Maharashtra. Especially, it will damage uh, oh, the Uddhav Thakre Shiv Sena because they'll have to clarify on this statement. Uh, but clearly, the Ranjit Savarkar, who's the grandson of uh, uh, Vinayak Damodar Savarkar, has said that he will be taking legal action against Gundo Rao's statements. He has clearly said that uh, what uh, Savarkar was speak, writing up in his book uh, was about uh, war tactics, is about. how cow has become important for a farmer because there is a lot of benefits and because of the benefits uh, it uh, it's got the stature of god so clearly the statement when he has said where he uh, dinesh gundurao is saying that uh, savarkar was not against cow slaughter uh, you can say that savarkar has uh, you know uh, ranjit savarkar has uh, 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 said that this is wrong, and there were a lot of committees which were formed against cows that are on which uh, Savarkar was heading these committees. He has said that he will be taking a legal action, but uh, clearly there will also be uh, some political reactions coming in from Maharashtra, where the Shiv Sena UBT will have to respond on these issues. Uh, remember what happened uh, since the time the alliance has happened in Maharashtra of Congress with Shiv Sena. Even Rahul Gandhi has. Avoided uh, speaking on the issue of Savarkar, but this statement in the time of election is something as you know uh, likely to cause a political storm in Maharashtra. Back to you. Well, Maharashtra elections barely a month away. Let's see uh, what, how this has an impact. In fact, Dinesh Gundra speaking to India Today says that he was uh, only speaking about the ideology, the fundamental values that Savarkar held, etc. Uh, did not really intend to kick up a controversy, but it seems like that damage has been done.